Hey guys, so today I woke up looking to do something a little out of the extraordinary. Um, I wasn't sure I wanted to just hang out by the beach today, so uh, what I figured is that I'd take the one hour trek to Palm Hawaiian Falls and join me today. The last time I did this, the roads weren't paved yet, so it's good to see that there's already uh, cemented roads going into the other parts of San Vicente. If you caught old vlogs, not my own, but uh, uh, from famous travel vloggers, they would take a bike to Pamuayan Falls. It would be a little faster, maybe 30 minutes. and. I know a lot of them encountered problems because the roads weren't paved yet but now that it's paved um, I think it would be much faster. Maybe been 20, 25 minutes. Um, if you see the road behind me, obviously it's an uphill climb. I didn't remember being this gassed before, <laughs> running out of breath. Um, maybe because I was much younger then. <laughs> The sun is really up right now. It wasn't this hot earlier. Um, it was slightly cloudy, so um, I'm kind of thinking now if this was such a good idea. Kind of feeling lost because before the roads weren't paved this much yet, so I'm a little disoriented. Um, let's see, are we gonna get there or will I end up in a different place altogether? <laughs> Okay, so this seems more familiar now. I think I'm definitely getting there. Uh, when you go down here, that's going to Pamuayan Beach. I think we're gonna pull up into the falls in another 20 minutes. Just taking a bit of rest. Um, that they're not getting done building so in case you're not up for it I wouldn't recommend it <laughs> Hear the waterfalls really right now. Um, I think I'm alone here. If anything happens, knock on wood. Uh, hopefully, it's not a 127 hours type of thing. Oops. 
Uh, it's just been me for for a while, except there are people in the entrance taking donations, you know, just basically maintaining the signages, keeping the entrances clean. Um, now that I'm here, I don't know why I did this. Um, I forget that I'm flat-footed and tend to slip easily. So you can hear now the water, the power of the water, just raging. Um, we're almost there. A little bit more. Oh boy. Tree roots here as makeshift stairs, you really have to figure it out. It's not pretty, it's not easy. Um, what you could see here would be the fallen trees you see how strong the previous typhoon was so this wasn't like this before finally arriving we've made it um, it's 10 15 if I'm not mistaken no it's 10 30 so it's really a one hour and a half trek from Port Barton town. So let's go into the water. Oh, it's so cold. Ugh. So I've spent probably the last 30 minutes just basking in uh, this waterfall. Um, I guess during the trek I mentioned some hesitation. Maybe I was kind of regretting going. Um, it was really hot. The sun was blaring. But you know what? Uh, I remember why I went here. Um, and once I got here, uh, all the doubts, maybe hesitations were literally washed away um, if it's a hot trek going here once you're in the water it's so cold um, so clean such a contrast to uh, maybe sea water this is really salty especially here in Barton so um, when you guys visit please do take time to make the trek uh, it doesn't have to be as effortful as the way I've done it. Um, you can actually take a bike or a tricycle even. Just pay someone. Um, you could easily shave off another hour or two from your uh, schedule if you don't choose to do the trek. But if you choose to do the trek, the adventures are out there. Do so as well. Um, yes, so enjoy this. Uh, join me again next time.